Jess, many of the neighbors behind me tell me they were close with the Candy family. Whether it was a small wave in passing or the kids coming over to play with pets, they would have never expected Jonathan Candy would kill his family. Him and his kids seemed like they always got along. Uh, he just was a, I don't know, just a family man. Neighbors tell me Tuesday they're shocked and puzzled by a mass murder on their street. That a neighborhood massacre on Monday where Jonathan Candy killed his wife and three of his kids before turning the gun on himself leaves them wondering what went wrong. I mean, I never expected this. Police revealed Tuesday it all started when Jonathan Candy got in a fight with his wife, Lindsay, and shot her multiple times. He then went through the rest of the house, killing three of his four sons, Dylan, Ethan, and Lucas. We were just in total shock. Yeah. The kids were real friendly. Everybody here loved the kids. Uh, swam here at his house regularly. Uh, they played with my dog. Michael Bertram lives just across the street and says he was friends with Jonathan. Michael says Jonathan had told him he suffered from depression. If somebody needed something and he had a shop in the back, uh, I needed something welded one day, called him up. He says, yeah, I'll do it for you. That's the kind of person he was. Jonathan worked as a part-time employee for the Oklahoma City Thunder, and friends and neighbors tell us he was at the playoff game Sunday night just hours before opening fire. Another family on the street said they didn't want to go on camera, but said their kids were close with the Candy family and are obviously taking the loss hard. The entire neighborhood left stunned. I just questioned everything. You know, something was going on behind scenes that no one knew. Oklahoma City Police tell us they have no calls for domestic abuse to this address behind me and nothing in their system on either of the candies. In Yukon, Colby Terrell, KOCL 5 News.